Hello, hello everyone, this is David Arrojo and today I would like to talk about how to color comics with Procreate. So this is basically a follow-up video on the video review on the comics coloring course that I've recently reviewed by K. Michael Russell, which I think is absolutely amazing and as I said in the video itself, uh, indispensable if you are into coloring comics definitely take that course it's a hell of a course now this video is something else it's more about the technicalities of coloring comics within procreate so i've quickly sketched out some uh, line art as you can see here and um, just so that we had something to work with it's all done in procreate and basically what i want to show is um, the differences with coloring comics, especially within flatting uh, aspect of things with uh, how you would do it in Photoshop and such. So um, let's dive in and let's have a look at uh, how we address this. All right, so now that the inking is done, uh, we can start actually looking at how to color this uh, image in Procreate. Now the very first thing that we're going to do is start the flatting process. Now for that, I've already done everything just to speed things up for you guys. Uh, but what I basically did, I created a flats layer, which you can see right here. That's what ends up looking like your flats. If I take away the inks, that's your flats. If we zoom in, you'll see that it looks identical to what flats should be looking like. No anti-aliasing. It is just a clean uh, flat to work with. Now, okay, in order to get this to look this way, I'm just gonna do it uh, from the from the top, okay? Um, we're just gonna create a brand new layer, call it flats again, just to show you, uh, because it's quite important to get this right. Okay, so the very first thing that you're gonna have to keep in mind is that if you are inking in Procreate, already so if you are the inker as well or the the, the, the person that does the line art the, the the illustrator then it's interesting to follow a particular method that helps so when i uh work so you've got your sketch and then you've got your outline i work in outline so i create only the most important lines and on a separate layer i create the ink details now the reason why i do this is because i want to make my outline a reference okay for my flats so I'm going to my flats now the outlines are a reference and in the flats I will be able to color drop now, in order to color drop I'm quickly going to just select the colors uh, to get the same color one second there we go and basically how this is done in um, procreate is to color drop like so so you just take your pen and then you color drop it um, to the sections that are clean okay that you can fill in it's kind of like a bucket tool now when I remove the lines you will see that it is clean you can fill in the in-betweens if you want it's not even a requirement but if you want to get it uh, done I created a flat uh, flatting brush and the flatting brush is really a basic brush um, with a very, very basic square uh, source shape and a square grain source. That's it. I haven't done anything else except for that. So it's extremely easy to make this brush. Just a square and a square and you get it from uh, the Pro Library. Okay, so in the middle you see invert shape, swap from Pro Library, insert photo. It's in the middle one that you get it from. And you create just a very, very basic brush. Now what this brush does, I'll show you next to this flat. If I were to select it, you make sure that your opacity is, is at 100. The size doesn't really matter. But if I start drawing, okay, and I zoom in, this is what you want. Really clean, no anti-aliasing, no softness just 100% uh, hard brush okay and like I said if you want to fill in the middle bits you can easily do that just by going over it you know just just like this uh, you can also make a selection and, and go over it but I would be a bit careful with the selections because there's a thing about selections okay in procreate at this point in time this might change during um, you know, during development, because they're currently working on Procreate 4. This is Procreate 4 beta that you're looking at. 
and at this point in time if i were to really quickly make a selection with a lasso tool which is what you would do as well when you're inking and then you try to fill in the um the part another thing the reason why it didn't fill in correctly is because this reference is still on very very important we'll get to that in a second again so again uh doesn't matter really if i just do this and i fill it in again so in my flats fill it in there we go you're going to see something very important okay so when i zoom into these you see that they are soft the edges are soft uh, and that is what procreate does so there is no option to by freehand to do a lasso and have your anti-aliasing off or for it to be very hard as an edge that's not possible at least at this point in time i did uh request uh, the makers of Procreate to add this option that would be super useful, but they don't have it at the moment. Maybe in the future. Let's uh, let's see. Now, what this does mean is that when you try to um, flat like that, you just won't get the results that you're hoping for. The only way to do it really is to either color drop, like what I did, or if you want, uh, you can still say I never had this flat, so I'm just going to clear this layer and say I have my outlines again and I make a thin brush and in this case it's useful to make your outlines transparent so you dial the opacity down and you go to your flats and then in here you basically trace it as you would in Photoshop with a selection tool like a lasso tool you go over it you go over it you can also let go obviously at any point in time you keep going and then obviously as soon as you're done or you want to make a selection just do that drop it in and that's it and you got a perfectly flat you know selection as well so there are two ways to do it if there you know if there's some parts of the drawing that you want to have um you know selected the way i'm doing it you can do that as well so that's one way to do your flats here yeah again i'm just adding sections and if you want to correct something because you're like oh i did too much. oh sorry your make sure that your um, eraser is also on a flatting brush make it smaller obviously and just you know keep filling in the spaces and you're still flatting so it's still the identical same thing it's just that you're not doing it with a lasso tool instead of a lasso tool you're using a you know just just your 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 standard um flatting brush that i made which you can make as well it's super easy to make okay so that these are the two ways to flat that's that um very important right then let me get rid of this once your flats are done uh and then again if if you do it the the the, the other way that i said so the um, where you just use your um you know flatting brush as if it were the lasso tool like you would in photoshop then it doesn't matter. You can have all the ink details. It doesn't matter that you are not the person that's making the drawing. Uh, if you're just a colorist, this is the way to do it then, and it's super easy, and you get the job done. Uh, all you need is just an extremely hard brush, no anti-aliasing whatsoever. And um, why am I showing you this way? It's because I like to have all my flats, all, all the colors of the flats on one single layer. I've seen people on the internet um, do different colors on different layers and that's how they get to um you know change the thingies and everything but if your flats are clean uh, as any good colorist would know when you make the selection you have to put it to automatic so at the bottom you have either freehand or automatic you have to put the selection to automatic you go on your flats layer make sure that none of the layers have reference turned on this is extremely important if you have reference turned on somewhere it's gonna come out very strange so put your um, automatic on your automatic selection tool and then here I'm literally only selecting this section if I want to make a duplicate of this section and bring it to some uh, other layer uh, I select the first icon and I've got there it says from selection and here you can literally do whatever you want if you want to play around here you can change your color balance there you go you know um, let me make sure that I'm in the right thing you wait undo making yeah here you go 
hues and saturation let's do that so in here you can change your colors whatever not uh, to anything you'd like it doesn't matter you know it, it works and if I take away the lines you will see that it literally is the identical same pixels there is no see it's identically the same you don't have to make this a uh, duplicate layer you can actually do it straight on your flats if I again automatic I select it and if now I want to just put another color on there I can even color drop it same principle same result see if I were to now just go back to my uh, ink layers there you go it's there it doesn't matter so that just so that you guys know uh, it's important for you to see that it is perfectly possible it took me a while to figure out exactly how to do it but it is perfectly possible and once you got that um, you just start applying the same principle so when you want to start coloring a specific section just select a section for example the face and then you make a new layer for example and here if you want to do some highlights or something I don't know you used to select a skin color and you go a little bit lighter uh, you create maybe a little bit like this and then you just select a brush that you like in this case I'm just selecting this and I just start drawing over it see just anything if, if you want to go for a, for like a, a flat style um, like you know cell shaded or something like that you, know, you can just do like that and pretend that you know the the, the lighting is coming from here uh, something like that so I'm doing it very very basic now obviously uh, but you get the point. I mean, if you do this, you get the same effect. I mean, here would be something similar to that, and you would maybe have some additional lighting here, and, you know, something like that. And um, so you can do, you know, things very easily like that. On top of that, you can quickly modify things. If you say you want to play, for example, you do a light in, and you do a screen, maybe you add color dodge. Yeah, let's... Maybe a screen, okay. Um, we can lower the opacity anyways. Uh, and with this, for example, if you were to add another flat, so you say, okay, I want to now work here. You can even keep the same color uh, and start working here, for example. And you, know, you still get that effect of, again, this is extremely simplified, okay? I'm just only giving you a, a, an example of extremely simply, uh, extremely simple um, coloring but you can lower this a little bit uh, and then you still get this type of it's somewhat colored in um, and the same for your shadows and everything so that's just very quickly to show you that it's perfectly possible but the most important part for me is the flatting aspect flatting has to be done right uh, also, you can add color layers to, you know, color overlays, and then you can merge them if you're, um, for example, happy with it. You say, like, okay, I wanted the background here to not be as bright red. I want it to be a bit more desaturated. You can merge it down, and boom, it's your flats. Uh, because that layer on top was a perfect um, copy of the selection I had. So, see, it still stays crisp, clean, and that is really what you want. So in my case, what I did, once I add all the stuff now, uh, I added a shadow layer uh, on a separate, I did it on, as, a, as a multiply. Um, then I added a lighting layer as a screen. And I added a rim light. Uh, and I think that was it. You know, and that's how you can quickly get some coloring done in Procreate. Um, and it still looks great. The good thing I love about the new version of Procreate that's coming, the fourth, uh, is that here you actually can see the values. Uh, in the first uh, few versions of Procreate up to Procreate 3, you can only see this. Uh, but now you have the disk uh, view, the classic view, uh, which allows you again here to play around with your um, brightness, you know, your saturation and your hues very very good your values again and you've got all your palettes that you can add in these are just some standard ones that come with the program but there you go that's how you color in procreate and uh, i hope it has helped you to you know um get the coloring done especially the flatting i've been uh, you know trying to fix 
the flatting issue for a long time. If you guys have any questions, feel free to just um, ask them in the comment section below. I do tend to answer normally within 24 hours. Uh, if not, I do answer very quickly. And uh, that's it, guys. I hope this was, was helpful for you. And um, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.